But Jens, we, we were speaking about Sergio Aguero at the start before the game and during halftime, Gail, you mentioned you were a little bit disappointed he wasn't as effective as you'd like him to be, which brings me to the conversation, knowing now that he will be leaving at the end of the season. Where does he go next, you think, Gail? Because there are quite a number of big teams that are being linked with him at the minute, amongst of Barcelona, Chelsea, Juve. Can you see him staying in the Premier League? Uh, well, first of all, I've been disappointed not by his performance, but more because, you know, we know he can give more and it's just a matter of, you know, rhythm. And the more he will play, the better he will get. Will he get the minutes that he needs to be able to show us that he's still uh, an important player? We don't know. Uh, the season is nearly finished. But to answer to your question, I think the decision, obviously, is, uh, is down to him. Will he stay in the Premier League? Like I said before, I, I could... I could see him wanting to stay in the Premier League to try and, and reach that, 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 that goal that will take him to the place number three or place number second because I believe in two years he can, he can get there. Does he want that? Because, you know, 10 years with City and everything that he did um, is enough, is more than enough. Uh, with his, can he see himself in another shirt in England? That's another story. I think he will probably move on and, and, and try to go somewhere where he can enjoy a little bit more because... As we know, England is not always the, the favorite place for, 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 the, for the people who love sun. And I think Sergio is one of them. Um, so I think I would like to see him stay to get to that uh, place on, in, in terms of goals uh, scoring. But uh, if we are honest, I think we clearly uh, know or more or less know that he will, he will move and he will, be, uh, he will be missed in England because, again, you know, he's, he's one of the, the very best that we've seen. And... And you will be missed. But you say you want to see him stay in the Premier League. Which club would you like to see him in? <sighs> that when you go from City, it's very difficult to, 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 reach, to reach a club that will give you that much feeling. But I'm just Wait, saying Which I would club like would, to do see. you think would suit him then, you think? Well, I think after City, the club that suits him the best, you know, in terms of play, I would say that, you know, Arsenal is a, is a, is a, good, fit, a good fit, you know. Uh, they play nice football, the striker get nice opportunities, but I really doubt that he will go there and I'm pretty sure he will move on and, and, and go back to Spain or something like this, um, where he will shine because, again, I, I really believe that he, he got many years left in him. Gary, what do you think then? I mean, of all the, of all the names and the clubs that I've mentioned, where, do you, can, where can you see him go? Well, well, first of all, I don't know about his family circumstances, but they play a big part. You know, we're not just talking about a footballer who's a robot. We're talking about a human being as well. So what about his family? What might he think is best for his family? That's important. Can I see Aguero wearing a shirt in the Premier League of a side other than Man City? No. I personally think he's going to move on. I think uh, he will go abroad. Um, yes, I, I think uh, Spain looks a good option for him. Of course, he came from Atletico Madrid initially to Manchester City. Um, so I think it, there's every chance it will be a Spanish club, but I really don't think it will be one of the big two. I can't see it being Barcelona or Real Madrid um, because of his age, because of his um, injury problems he's had this season. Having said that, of course, they would pick him up on a free transfer. Well, what about the future? We've spoken about the future of Aguero. What about the future of Manchester City then? I mean, one of the silver linings for Man City fans about Aguero leaving is the excitement of who could possibly come in next, the names that Man City would have lined up. All the excitement, well, pretty much ended about 24 hours ago when Pep Guardiola came out to say that it is almost impossible, if anything, it is impossible for them to sign a big name player. I mean, how much truth do you think is there in that statement, Gail? Or do you think he's doing one of those pep things and, and trying to send a message? Well, how can you read between the lines? Well, I think you cannot really read, you know, what uh, Pep has in his mind. Um, I'd like to believe what he says, because if I can say the only dark points that I see at City at the moment is probably the amount of money they're spending. And, and and we speak about that and, and without, within the, the context that we are in, in the world at the moment, I wish and I hope that his words are, are what City are thinking 
um, because it's clearly difficult, you know, to spend all that kind of money. And, and for me, that's the only downside of CT, the fact that people can use that argument in a way that, okay, CT are winning because they're spending. That's, that's very, that's a, that's a shame for me because, you know, that's the only downside. So I would like Pep World to be true. Um, is it or is it not? We, we will see. But um, again, um, obviously, you know, you have mega strikers in the world and, and, and those kind of players we're talking about will bring quality to any team in Europe. Uh, but I think City are, are, are more than well equipped to, to go a long way. And perhaps it's a chance also to bring uh, youngsters to the, to the side. We've seen Phil Foden did amazing and, uh, and we just want to see more of them uh, on the pitch. So it could be the opportunity to stick to those words and, 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 and bring some more uh, young players.